Why should anybody care? We're all one anyway. We're all part of each other. No one is an individual. They think they're alone. Nobody is ever alone. They have never been alone since the moment they were born. There's always someone there to take care of them and help them. And we're all part of each other, which they don't understand. We're part of everything. Every single thing there is, is alive. It's all consciousness, even down to the tiniest blade of grass. Everything is all connected. All of nature, all of the environment, all of the people. There is no good, there is no bad. It's only energy being used in different directions. And once we understand that, we can understand the problems these people are facing, the circumstances they are caught up into that makes them do the different things. But I care because we have to learn to care about each other. We are all one, we're all part of each other. And that takes a whole different way of looking at it for a lot of people because they see themselves as all alone, as an individual, with their individual problems. But we're not, we're one world, we're one body and we are all connected to the source, to God, because we all are walking along the same path. We just see it in different ways. And it's time to let all the other go so that we can go into this new direction. And that's why I care about it, because it seems like that's my mission now, is to talk, tell people these things all over the world, to give knowledge and information to them, so at least they can think I always tell people, don't believe what I say. Don't believe what anybody else says. Ask lots and lots of questions. Then make up your own mind. My truth may not be your truth. You find your own truth. And when you do, it's your truth. Maybe others won't understand it, they won't believe it, but it's your truth. Don't give your power away to anyone. Think for yourself. Ask questions, and then I think you'll arrive at the same conclusion I have. Everyone is one. We're all connected together, and we're headed for a beautiful world. We're coming out of the darkness into the light. I am not an individual. I am part of everything. And when you break us all down, we're love, because that's how we were created. Everything goes back to love. Love is the answer to everything. And as I said a while ago, if there is love, there is, will be no wars, there will be no violence. People would understand each other. Love is the total essence of everything. If, um, if you realize everything is alive, there is nothing that is not alive. Everything is alive. This chair is alive. Your clothes are alive, uh, the microphone is alive, the glass, the water, everything is alive. It all has consciousness of different kinds. You take it down to the tiniest fiber in a rug. You were to break it down if we were able to go that far and look at it. Within each fiber are universes. Whole worlds are in there. All different dimensions are in the tiniest thing. From the microcosm out to the macrocosm, there are no limits. We can't possibly imagine how far it goes. We're very limited in our thinking. We have to start opening up and broadening our thinking because there are no limits. And it's very hard for our minds to think that way, that as we go tinier and tinier and tinier, it also goes bigger and bigger and bigger and out into space. So everything is consciousness, everything is alive. And we realize that, we, I think we'll begin taking better care of the planet, we'll begin taking better care of the ecology. You're part of everything. You realize that the power is tremendous.